This is a rock pool, also known as a tidal pool. It's a body of water left behind by a receding tide. If you've ever had a chance to explore rock pools at low tide, you'll know that they are teeming with marine life. You just have to know where to look. Some of the more common creatures you'll find are hermit crabs, sea hares and sea cucumbers. These animals live in an ever-changing environment. And we're going to take a closer look at their adaptations to get a better idea of what it takes to survive in their world. Today, we're exploring the rock pools of Caloundra off Queensland's coast in Australia. And it doesn't take long to discover one of my favourite marine creatures. Slow moving, soft bodied and herbivorous. This is a sea hare, commonly found in tidal pools around the world. You might be wondering how they got the name sea hare. Take a look at these tentacle-like structures called rhinophores. They stick up like bunny ears, which earned them their name. But you won't find these guys hopping from rock pool to rock pool. They have a far more, shall we say, sluggish method of locomotion. They move around using a large muscular foot. It may not be the fastest way to get from A to B, but this thick, strong muscle is perfect for moving across sharp, rocky surfaces safely. And you may have noticed that incredible pattern covering their bodies. It's one of the most impressive camouflage patterns you will find in these rock pools. Let's test that theory. How many sea hares can you spot? They're almost impossible to find, aren't they? I'll give you a hint. There's one right here. Believe it or not, but there are six sea hares in this rock pool. Now let's take a look at another soft-bodied rock pool resident. This is the black sea cucumber. It's a little obvious how these guys got their name. Their long tube-like bodies look a lot like a cucumber. And sometimes it's hard to tell which is the front end and which is the back end. But it does make it a lot easier to spot the front end of a sea cucumber when they start to feed. Check this out. They gather their meal using numerous tube feet that look like tentacles surrounding their mouths. Let's speed it up a bit. They're feeding on tiny particles of algae, microorganisms and waste materials. Their soft bodies allow them to squeeze into really tight spaces with ease. Another animal that's pretty good at squeezing into small spaces is the hermit crab. They are highly successful little critters. One of the reasons for their success, that portable home they carry around on their backs. As a hermit crab grows in size, it abandons its old shell and searches for a new one. Even if someone else is already in it. So why do they need a shell? This part of the hermit crab is called an abdomen. Unlike the rest of its hard body, this part of the crab is soft and vulnerable, so it needs to be protected. You'll notice that their abdomen is slightly bent, this allows it to fit perfectly into the curvature of an empty shell. How cool is that? But carrying around a heavy shell on your back all day can come with its challenges, especially when you've rolled the wrong way up. From impressive camouflage to portable homes and soft bodies to muscular feet, these marine critters are very well adapted to the rock pool lifestyle. <laughs>